Hello, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to my Black Desert content. It has been 22 days since my last video on Black Desert. No new content from me for quite so long because I don't see any new strategy, tips or trick or any weird test that I can do with my current game condition. And also, every new updates are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, just read the patch notes or play the game in a couple of minutes then you're good to go including the new awakening system which I'm about to do in this video I don't even know why I'm making this video in the first place <laughs> Gabut banget emang gua So let's get started with this week new update Yes, awakening is finally here third quarter of 2020 according to their roadmap plan but I think it's also one of PA's strategy to anticipate and counter the new competitors which are about to come, like Genshin Impact or V4, they are coming soon to global version. So let's just enjoy all of these free goodies, new events, and drastical CP increase from this week update. Just like Joel said in Vilia in livestream, this is the best time for you to start playing Black Desert Mobile. Please remember this is the first time I'm awakening my character, so if you see anything wrong here, please comment down below and give me some suggestions. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you. For the first awakening test, uh, it will be on my alt. She has reached level 64 and I haven't done any ascension or awaken on her. And even my main character level still stuck at 70 with only 43% XP as per today. I have been slacking off really, really bad. And this is what will happen to your character once you finish the level 60 quest. You will instantly be given two options of new class, Ascension or Awaken. So choose and decide carefully what you want to be. Ascension and Awaken have very different gameplay and strategy. For example, if you are a giant class like me and you choose Ascension, you will still using the same type of weapon and sub. Also, Ascension skills are pretty much similar with the basic giant class. So basically, you still maintain that close range fighting style of the giant with spin to win. But if you choose Awakening, gameplay will be different. Since the axe will be changed into a hand cannon, means you will become a semi-range character. That's how I put it. You can bombard opponents from short distance, not as far as the hunters, and you can fly around and ambush the enemies from the air. So basically, you become a Mega Man. Either Awakening or Ascension, you will still get the same amount of CP increase no matter which new class you choose. If you choose Ascension, however, you will keep your weapon and sub, and if you choose Awakening, you will have a new weapon and new sub weapon set. And this is where things get a bit tricky, I will show you in the next part. Once we go with Awakening, there will be two options of what we want to do with the weapon and the sub. We either exchange it or keep it. Now, I'm gonna try both options with two different characters so you guys can see what will happen. If we choose exchange, the character weapon and sub will be transformed into Awakening class gears automatically. And all enchantment stats and the crystals will still remain the same so basically exchange option will only change the type of weapon and sub nothing else i think this is very practical and convenient but there is a downside or disadvantage of this option as you can see here i lost about 34 cp because of switching from titan to destroyer this is because of the weapon outfit so be careful with this once you switch to Awaken, you can no longer use your weapon outfit. And if you happen to have a seasonal outfit like me, you're gonna lose a pretty big CP. 
On the other hand, if you choose skip, the weapon and sub weapon will remain. Your new awakened character will have no weapon to use. This option is made available for players who probably have different strategies with their family characters. Probably the weapon can be used by their other alts or something. But if eventually you want to switch the weapon, just go to blacksmith and transform the weapon and sub. It is free for the first time only. Next time you want to do this again, you're going to have to buy the scroll at the game shop. Another thing to consider is the skills. When we switch from Ascension to Awaken, there will be a slight portion of skill XP converted into the new Awakening skills, but it's in a very, very small amount. If we want to get all XP back, we're gonna need this item called Skill Extraction Coupon, and we can only buy it at Game Shop, or we can patiently farm those new yellow skill books from the mobs. It's a slow process, but we'll get there pretty soon. Other besides Class Awakening, we also have Accessory Awakening this week. Unfortunately, I'm still missing one orange accessory here, the necklace. All of my accessories here are from free goodies, and this necklace seems to be pretty hard to get from a free chest. But anyway, let's see how much CP increase I can get in total. Okay, only 4 accessories awaken, and here is the best stuff. Awaken accessories will have 2 new enchantment slots. So this is my final CP from all of those awakening stuff. Nice CP increase, very nice. And to think it all came for free. So by looking at the event this week, especially the Black Spirit Adventure, I just need some luck with the free accessories chest and also from the free magical residue that I can use to enchant my awakened accessories. I'm also waiting for my new weapon outfit. I have four workers working on them now and I hopefully and hopefully I can get another seasonal outfit if I'm lucky with the RNG. Okay, that is all from me right now. Thank you for watching and listening to my ranting. Please let me know what you guys think about this new awakening system. Please also share with us what class are you playing. See you guys in the next video. Stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye.